All right, so you all have been asking for this tutorial for a while now, so here it is. So these are my brows before I get started. Here are the brushes that I'll be using. I will link them in the description box below. I also will be using some primer, setting spray, concealer, and some translucent powder. And the product I'll be using is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And it has a spoolie on one end and the other end is the pencil. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyebrows. I like to do this to help my eyebrows stay matte and this also helps the hair stay in place as well. And also because we're going to be applying concealer around our brows. Next, I'm going to take the spoolie side of the pencil and I'm going to brush my brows going up and then over. Even though my brows are really sparse and thin, they are really unruly, so I have to brush them really well. Now that my brows are all brushed out, it's time to go ahead and fill them in. As you can see, the NYX brow pencil is really, really thin, and I like that because it helps me with being really precise. Alright, so basically you just want to follow your natural brow line at the bottom, and that's what I do. I start at the bottom and I go all the way to the tail and I'm using really really light strokes you don't want to apply a lot of product when you're first starting out you just want to build it up and then when I'm done with the bottom I go ahead and draw a line at the top and connect it at the tail and then at the very top right there I have to make my own brow because I don't really have a lot of hair right there so I kind of make a little arch. Once I'm done with the line at the top, I like to go ahead and brush my brows out just to see where I need to fill in. That way I'm not applying too much product. And then I go to the front and I like to fill that in lightly. And I just go back and forth through the brow really, really lightly. And then when I apply product, I like to brush it to spread the product out. That way it doesn't look super harsh. I like to take my time when doing my brows. I do not like to rush through them. Now that the tail is all filled in, I'm going to go back and start on the front. And I'm just doing really, really, really light strokes. And then I'm going to go ahead and brush it out so it isn't really harsh. And I don't have that super square box at the front. I also don't like to weigh down my brows with product because I like to brush them up so that you can still see the hair and they look really hair like. I try to get them to look really similar. But of course we all know eyebrows are not twins, they are sisters. So just remember that when you're filling in your brows. And I don't get my brows threaded or waxed or anything like that. I just tweeze them myself because I've had a lot of bad experiences. <laughs> Alright, so now it's time for me to go ahead and conceal them to clean them up. I'm using my small e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm just drawing a line at the bottom of the brow. I'm not applying too much product, just enough. When I get to the top of the brow, I only conceal the end, which is the tail. I just feel like it gives the eyebrow a more natural look and it doesn't look as harsh as opposed to you going all the way across the brow with the concealer at the top. Next I'm going to take my e.l.f. like flat C brush and I'm going to spray it with the setting spray just to help spread the concealer around and then I'm just going to blend that downward and blend it out. I personally like to use a concealer that's close to my skin tone. It's just easier for me to blend it out. But you can also use your foundation as well. When I'm done with the concealer, I like to go ahead and give my brow another brush through. I like to check and make sure my tail isn't too long. And then I move on to the next brow. 
Now this brow likes to give me trouble so I really have to take my time on it although I did speed this part of the video up but yeah um, this left brow just likes to act up on me. <laughs> And I know some of you are wondering why I don't use the Anastasia Dip Brow anymore. I just got tired of the consistency. It's too thick and then it started taking me too long to fill in my brows. I just feel like the pencil is just a lot easier. It's simple. So if you're definitely a beginner with doing your brows, get this pencil because it goes by faster. <laughs> As you can see here when I was cleaning up my eyebrow, I swiped some of the concealer into my brow. I have a bad habit of doing it. It happens to me quite often. <laughs> so what I do is I just take the pencil and I just fill it back in and then I just add a little bit more concealer right there to clean it up. Now this step is optional. I like to take a translucent powder on a fluffy brush and I like to run it across my brows just to set them in to ensure that they do not get oily throughout the day because I do not like oily brows at all. <laughs> and when I'm done, I like to brush my eyebrows with the spoolie to make sure that the translucent powder is brushed all the way through thoroughly. And these are what my brows look like all filled in nice and natural and as you can see you can still see my hair that's what I really like about them I hope this video was helpful thanks for watching and I'll see you all on my next one bye